Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. Today I thought I would show you how I, I press my flowers. I'm doing this video a little bit differently because right now I'm going to try to do this in two parts. So right now it is May 13th, 2021. So I'm going to press these flowers today and then in a month I'm going to show you how to make this album, this little book right here where I put my pressed flowers in um, that I showed you and when I did the release of these new swatch books, right? So here's a lilac and I have, uh, the reason I'm doing it right now is because my lilacs are in bloom and they're almost done. So I want to show you how I pressed my lilac. Also I have a lavender. This is pink lavender, but I've got some purple regular lavender that's that's not in bloom in bloom, but you can still see it. So I wanted to press some now as well. So anyway, I don't know how this is gonna work out. I've never really done um, videos where it's in many parts over time. So we'll see how this goes. So I have picked a few things that are in bloom in my yard right now. This is a clematis. I've never pressed a clematis, so I wanted to try it. This, I believe this is called, um, it's in the Daisy family, I want to say. I don't remember the name of it. I'm going to have to go get the little tag from where I bought it. I keep all my little tags when I buy my flowers and stuff. I have no idea what this little thingy is. Um, these are hydrangea. These are just little petals from my hydrangea bush. I have several hydrangeas, but this one I have in a pot, and it's new to me, and I can't remember the name of it at the moment. Um, it doesn't turn blue or purple. It's more of a pink and a deep, gets to be a deep color depending on your soil. Then, I also, there's my lavender, and then I also have some mint, peppermint. I've never pressed peppermint either, and I just kind of wanted to see, I know you can dry herbs, but I just kind of wanted to see what it would look like. So here's my little collection of flowers that I'm going to press today. Okay, so the other things you're going to need is a marker, some form of, I use wax paper. You don't, you could use paper, you could use tissue paper, you could, whatever you want to use. I use this. This is uh, heavy duty wax paper. I get it at like Sam's or something. And, or I guess maybe Amazon. I might have got this one at Amazon. I'll try to link it below if I can find it. And it comes already in like a half a sheet. So I don't have to fold anything. So this is what I use to put in between the pages of these really old encyclopedias. So I have a stack of them. And I, what I do is I press my flowers in these and then I stack them on top of each other and I just leave them be. So that's the, that's just, just as simple as that. I, I don't have a flower press. I'm sure those would work really nicely, but I don't have one. I just use old books. So let me show you what I do. Um, I'm going to, have to I'm going to have to open one of these books up, I think. So I like to start more so in the back of the encyclopedia. I don't think there's anything in these. I think I emptied them out. I'm almost 100% positive I did. If I didn't, it would be a hot mess right now. And then I also like to take and write with a Sharpie. I normally just write it directly onto the page, but I figured a post-it note would be uh, better. That way I could reuse this if I wanted to. So anyway, so that way I can reuse this wax paper because normally I just write it right on top there. So I wrote the date, May 13th, 2021, and I wrote what it is. I normally don't write what it is either, but I found that's a problem when I go back to look at it later and I'm like, I'm not really sure what that was. What that was. <laughs> so I wrote lavender on here. So let me grab my little lavender cuttings here. And as you can see, they're not open. Can you see? Oh my, they smell so good. I'm not sure how well my camera is, is focusing. There we go. They smell so good. Can you smell that? Can you smell a vision? Mmm. They smell so good. Okay. Okay, so I'm just literally going to stick this in here. And I'm going to lay them 
just a little bit apart so that they can dry or press nicely just like this well maybe I'll do it like this scoot them down just a little bit right and then I'm going to close this over top like that and then I'm going to take the whole book and close it just like this okay but that's not the only thing I'm going to put in this book so I'm going to take it about so there's where that one is so I'm going to go about a half an inch away from that and I'm going to open it back oh look there's a cone flower and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to press this clematis so I've already wrote that down Let's see, I got my mint, my hydrangea, oh, there's the clematis. I have never pressed a clematis before, so this will be interesting. And I'm going to leave the stem on, I think. And open this up. This one may be a little bit more difficult, or should I do it this way, I wonder. All right, I'm going to place it face down. Right. Then I'm going to close the entire book over top. Then I'm going to go about a half an inch from there. Open that up. Look, I even smoosh that a little bit. <clears throat> Place this in here. And let's do something. Let's do some of this mint. Let's do the mint. mint in here. Oh, the mint smells so good, too. Smell a vision. Do you guys grow mint? Mm, I got it in the ground. I've got it in pots. I just love it. Okay. I'm going to place both pieces that I have cut in here. I've never pressed mint before. This will be fun. So I'm going to kind of maybe smoosh it down. This may not work. Again, I've never pressed mint before, so I don't know. And sometimes you just have to let it go. You just have to let it be organic. <laughs> okay, so I'll, I've got only, I'm only going to put those three things in there. You see how it's a little bumpy? But by the time I come back and film again in a month or less, it'll be flat or flat-ish. So I'm going to set this one aside. And I'm going to bring the other book out, and I'm going to open it to the back pages. And let's start with the thick... Oh, I could do a lot of lilacs, you guys. I might have to go get another book. And my little hydrangeas, aren't they sweet? Um, like, obviously, I can't put this whole thing on here, but let me get some scissors. Oh, look, there's a spider. No, little spider, go away. <laughs> that could be from here or it could be from the books. Ah. All right, so I'm gonna cut. There's another one. Okay. Let's try this again. I'm going to cut here. So I've got that piece. I'm going to cut here. I picked the ones that still had some purple. There's a lot of white going on right now. And then I'm going to cut here. Actually... That one's cute, isn't it? Okay. Then I have some leaves. So, <laughs> I'm not going to be able to press all of these lilacs in one page here, but oh man, they smell so good. Okay. Where? Here's my lilac. Okay. 
Okay, so let's start off. Let's see. I usually just do one a page, one per page, because these suckers are very thick. But I might be able to get one of these little smaller ones, or two of these little smaller ones in here, just to see. That is so hard to do, just to close the book. But look, <laughs> they're in there. Okay, I'm gonna do another lilac. And since they're all gonna be the same things in here, from the same date, I'm not gonna worry about making another thingy. But I'm gonna stick this one in here. Close the book. I hope it. I hope it. I hope it does well. I mean, I'm, every time I press a lilac, I do the same thing. I'm like, Aah. but it it always turns out beautiful. I mean, this the same thing happened when I pressed this one. The same thing, and and it look how nice it is. It, I don't know how well you can see it. But I have a hard time seeing it in my monitor, but look at how lovely that is. Okay, so anyways, it will work, I promise. All right, let's do this next. Let's start by this. Let's get this ready. Oops, oh, I don't have a thingy. I don't have a thingy. So I'm going to say it's a daisy something or another, but I'm going to write the date on here. Daisy family. Because I have a, I have a, they're really pretty. And this one's, this one's almost spent. But the, the flower is so pretty. Put that on there like that. I'm going to open this up a little bit. And I'm going to stick this in here. I wonder if I do it this way. If that'll be better. Okay, so I just placed it face down. Now this one, that one was thick. Look at there. That one was super thick. All right, I'm going to have to get another book, I think. Yep. Let me go get another book. I'll be right back. Okay. I went and grabbed one more book. So here's the two I just pressed flowers in. I grabbed one more book. And we're going to do the hydrangea petals and whatever this thing is called. If anybody knows what these are, I think I'm going to have to find the tag. They're so pretty. So super pretty. They're just absolutely gorgeous. I'm trying to figure out the best way to press these for it to be, you know, for it to look nice. Let's just try that. Okay. So I'm going to open this to the back. And... I'm gonna, I am gonna write this date on here, but I don't know what it is. And I'm gonna stick this in here, like that. And I'm gonna close the whole book. Let's get this ready. The last one is the hydrangea petals. I'm going to open this up about a half an inch away from that. Oh, boxing. Lovely. Okay. So, I think I can just lay these in here like this. Or maybe I should do them the other way. Depending on the flower, I could have snipped this little part off. I still can, actually. So it's not so bad. We'll do it on some and not on the other. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I got those in there. Right, and then I'm just gonna close the book. Just like that. Okay, I'm not gonna press those leaves. So, 
So the one that I think is the thickest, I'm gonna sit on the bottom of the pile. And then I'll put the one that I think is the thinnest on the top and then I'll put other books on top of it and then I'll let it sit in my bookshelf. And then I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll go take, I'll go put these up now and I will take a picture of that, of them sitting on my bookshelf where they sit. And then um, I'll show you real quick before I go. Okay, so let me show you. It's still, <laughs> it's still May 13th. All right, I just wanted to make sure you guys know that. Let me show you the picture I just took. Whoops, wrong way, right here. Um, there they, whoops, there they are on my bookshelf right here. These are all my vintage books. Well, not all of them, but these are vintage books and vintage papers and um, family vintage stuff down here. Anyway, these are some bookshelves. <laughs> And there they sit. And there's a couple books on top that I have things in them as well. And then the books on the bottom also have things in them. So I had to remove some things out of some of the books that I just used so that I could use those. But that is where I keep them and that's where they'll stay until, um, until we take them out in about a month. So yeah, so that's, that's all I got for you guys today. So hopefully, We'll be zipping to the future, and I'll see you in about a month. Hey guys, it is now June 8th. Can you see that? Tuesday, June 8th. So it's been a little over three weeks since I filmed the, the flowers being pressed. So I have them right here. I have all three books right here. And so what I thought I would do, I thought of how um, I would break this up was I would show you what they look like now. And then in the next video, we'll make the book. Okay, so I also wanted to give you a couple updates on the book. We're using the swatch book version two, and I am gonna use the butterfly background. I wasn't for sure when I did the video on what we were gonna be using for June and July's album, but I am gonna be using the butterfly background. And I did find the tags for the other things, the flowers that I could not remember, so. I will have them over here as well. So let me move the book out of the way because we're not really going to be using that in this video. We'll just start with this top book here. And this is the Mint. Okay, so again, 513.21. And this is the Mint. Ooh, it looks really good. The other day, I tried to press some um, chive flowers a couple weeks ago, and that was disgusting. I don't, I don't know. I guess there were aphids in the chive flowers, and they were all... Bleh, bleh. It was nasty. <laughs> it was so gross. These, well, it kind of smells like peppermint, but here's how they ended up. And what I'm going to do for the peppermint, I forgot to take a picture of it, actually. And I don't have the original tag, but I did grow some peppermint from seed this year. So I'm going to use the seed packet in the book. So that's another thing. Um, I was going to let you guys know that we are going to add the seed packets into the album. And I think we're going to add a photo, although I didn't take a photo of everything. So I'm going to have to look at that. So the peppermint looks really, really good. I think it turned out wonderful. And it's still, it's not super... Um, brittle it's still flexible right now I don't know if this is the right way or the wrong way to press flowers and I don't know if it will stay flexible forever but the, I have some ones I'll show you from last year that I, I brought some couple more books uh, out so you can see some that I actually did last year so we can see if they are like flexible still so then the clematis okay so I had to go back into a book let me show you this book this is a photo album that my kids made for me. Where's the page? Somewhere there's a paper. Oh, I'll have to find it for the next video. But they made me this book of our garden and it was from 2008. So this is just all of this. The whole book is filled with pictures from the yard. So here is, this is from, this this picture here is the clematis that I pressed that I'm getting ready to show you. But the tag, 
was in here and I wanted to leave it in here. So I'm gonna, I just copied it. I just photocopied it. So anyway, so there, this was from 2008. Um, it doesn't actually look as good now. <laughs> I think I need to give it some, some good fertilizer or, or something. I'm not really sure. So anyway, so I just photocopied that so that I can add it into my book. But anyway, it was really sweet. They made me this for Mother's Day. So every now and then I will go and update some of the pictures. I mean, it's been a long time. This was, this is darn near, oh, how many, I can't, I, can, I don't know how to count, obviously. So this was like 15 years ago. And um, so I, every once in a while I'll go in and add an updated photo because our yard has changed so much. And also it's really cool to see how your yard develops over time. I should uh, make a, I should make a template for that, shouldn't I? <laughs> I don't know why I keep doing, this is my new thing. Doot, doot. I'm gonna quit doing it right now. Um, but I need to make a template for that. I don't know why I haven't done it this far. Uh, so anyway, so there we go. I photocopied that tag. And so this is the clematis, right? And I've, I've never pressed a clematis before. And I gotta say, you guys, it turned out beautiful. Look at this. And look at it. It's still flexible. Wee. Right? Oh my gosh. It's so beautiful. And this has multiple layers in it. So I was really impressed with that one. So there's that. And then I think, is there one more thing in here? Oh yeah. So then the lavender. I found the tag for the lavender. I bought it at Lowe's. Lowe's, it looks like. And... There's the tag, in case you're wondering what kind of lavender this one is. It smells good. I can smell the lavender. I can smell it. It's delicious. Oh, and these, uh, lavender almost always turns out perfect. Look at, I've been inking up some pages. I'm prepping. I don't know how well you're going to see that, but it, like this one here, I'm afraid to break it. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. But look at that. Isn't that pretty? So this wasn't even a month. This was a little over three weeks ago. So there's that book. And then, isn't that clematis is just beautiful? This book, oh, the daisy. I said daisy family. I did go pull the tag, and it is. It's a Gerber. I think that's how you say it. A Gerber. And it says it's a yellow-orange. But mine looks more like... It doesn't really look orange. It's got more of a burgundy red. Look at how pretty that is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at that. I've got a photo here. I took a photo of all of the um, flowers before. Look at, look at the difference. And that's pretty close to the correct color. It might be a little bit on the red side. But look at the difference. Look how pretty. Oh, I'm so excited. So that one is what this this one is. It's an annual. It's unfortunate it's an annual, but look, it's so pretty. Okay. It may have been mistagged, though. The color might have been wrong because that doesn't look orange to me. And, you know, outside right now, the plant itself does not look orange to me. Okay, so, oh, and then here is the lilac. So, do I have a thing for my lilac? Oh, no, I don't have a thing for my lilac. What? Let me get my book out and find my lilac page, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to make a copy of this. So this is the type of lilac that I have, and here is a picture from 2009. Look at how beautiful that is. And then it says, "What did I end up planted? I actually planted it in 2004." There it is. Um, 2008. Look at how pretty that is. Okay. Oops. So I'm going to leave this out so I can remember to photocopy that. But let's have a look. See? Oh, the colors look so good. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at how pretty. I love the color. Oops. Oh, it turned out so nice. I love lilac, and you can smell those too. That's awesome. Okay. And then back 
here. Some more lilacs. Oh, look at these little bitty ones. <laughs> they look wonderful. They they pressed nicely. Very, very nicely. Okay. Perfect. Love it. And I did take a picture. Did I take a picture of that one? Nope. There it is. There's a picture of my lilacs. I took on my phone the day right before I cut them. That might be the exact branch. I might have cut this one right here. Um, there's that flower. And then there's the clematis underneath there. And there's a clematis. This is Alyssum. Oh, oh y'all want to see a picture of my grandson. A brand new grandson. Oh, I'll show you a picture of my granddaughter and my grandson. Oh, he's only two weeks old. Look at her. She's so happy. And his name is Easton. Isn't that precious? Okay, I just took this yesterday. So, okay, yeah. They got mixed in here with my, because I was printing these off on my little Canon selfie printer. But we'll talk more about that in the next video uh, for this album. Um, okay, so there's my lilacs. Beautiful, beautiful. I don't think there's anything else in this book. And then the hydrangea. I didn't get a picture of the hydrangea. Now it's looking all uh, wimpy. Um, the blooms have faded, but this is the one that it is. It's called Summer Crush, and it goes from this really deep color to this really vibrant color. So it depends on your soil, but I liked it. I liked it because it was a little bit different. I had this actually in a pot. So here is the hydrangea, and here's how they, ooh. Well, look at there, you guys. They kind of turned a little lavender. Where's my photo of the whole thing? And this is pretty close to color. Look at that. They turned a little bit more of a lavender color. Well, that's interesting. I'm glad I took a picture. That is really cool. But they're soft. The, the petals are really soft. I probably should not be handling these with my fingers. I just put oil on them as well, so that's great. Whoa. Should probably be using tweezers. Oh, look at that. It's so beautiful. Come on, camera. There we go. Look it. I'm really, really, really happy with the way those turned out. And then... This is the alyssum. So I got it in a, I've got it several places, but this was the only tag I could find. So I got it in a container and I'll show you a picture of the container. I just took one this morning and it is um, called Blushing Princess is what this is called. And it's so pretty. Let me show you that picture I just took of that. Well, it's not very, it's, a, it's not, it's a very um, overcast day, but is it, oh, I'm pushing the wrong, <laughs> look at that, isn't that pretty? So that is the, um, that's the flower, the flowers that I bought in the container. So that's this, so that I'm getting my show you right here. I need to print that picture, although I did print, I did print this one out, which this one is a super beautiful close-up, so maybe I'll just leave this one in. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, okay. So this one, so I have pressed these before, because I'm gonna show you, I've got some, I brought some other ones that I pressed. You're not gonna be able to see this, I don't think anyway. The detail, but they're teeny tiny little flowers. Little bitty, 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 bitties. Oh, I love that so delicate and lacy okay so that I think is all the flowers that we pressed earlier in this video but that was three weeks ago so I'm gonna scoot those aside and I'm gonna scoot this aside so nothing gets mixed up but I'm gonna show you some other things that I've pressed okay we'll get to these in just a minute I, I just want to show you something <laughs> really quick at the end there oh so here's some like just some leaves these were from last year. 
and they're not brittle at all. And I don't know, I mean, I think the wax paper is the way to go. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you. My mom just used paper and I'm gonna show you some of hers um, here in a minute. And this one is from, uh, is it a purple smoke tree? I think that's what it's called. But these are leaves and these are, a, they're a little bit stiffer. They're a little bit more fragile, you can kind of tell. Um, they're not, I mean, they're still soft, but I feel like these are a little bit more brittle than um, the flowers. So there's a couple of those. And then these are big, these are Webster's dictionaries. Uh, I, don't, I only left a few things in here, I think. Oh yeah, so these are little flower petals from some roses that my husband gave me um, last year for our anniversary. Well, I'm trying to be gentle. I have some already in this little, I guess I could go ahead and, I'll show you here in just a second. But these are really soft. These are really, really soft. And they dried beautifully. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and take these out. And I'll show you what I'm gonna do here. I mean, it's kind of obvious, but. Oh, and then here, this, and I didn't write this on here, but this is a butterfly bush. And it looks really, really cool. I'm not gonna lie, it looks really, really cool. Um, it's big, it's not gonna fit my book unless I cut it down, but isn't that pretty? I wasn't sure how it was gonna press, so this was from last year as well. And then, what's, what do we got in this book down here? Oh, some more lavender. You see how big this book is? It's huge, isn't it nice? Oh, so here's some of that alyssum. I think that's how you say it. It's from last year. And if you can see, this one pressed a little bit better. It's got little, let me scoot you in instead of, it's got little bitty, bitty, bitty white flowers. Let me see if I can scoot you this way. Uh, at the very top, I don't know how well you can see that. Oh my gosh, these are so delicate. But they are still, you know, pliable. Oh, I just love it. I'm going to have to press some more. I'm going to have to press some more of those. Okay, let me, let me scoot you back out. Okay, let's see. That's good enough. And then here's some lavender. No, um, it smells good. This is from last year. I don't know why I didn't put a date on there. That's unusual. Maybe because I pressed a bunch. Here's some more. Oh, whoop. isn't that pretty? I think there might just be lavender from here on out. That's how many I pressed. I love the lavender. Here's some more. This one, nope. I think we're still, this might be pink lavender. I'm not really sure. And some more lavender. See, these are really, really big. So pretty. This one, this one is pink lavender. This one has to be. I should have wrote it down. See, that's a, my mistake. And there's some more. And some more. Oops, I missed that one up. I pressed a lot. I guess I didn't write the date down for any of them. Good job, Jen. Well, it was definitely last year. Look at, I love it. I love it. I love it. I guess I was thinking I was going to share me some lavender. Okay. So let me move these and then um, we'll talk about that for just a second. Okay, so then the last thing I wanted to show you was some of the ones. These are those folders that I use for my 12 by 12 paper. I cut them in half because it fits these wax sheets perfectly. And um, yeah, so I keep, I, when, I, when, I, when it's finished fully drying or pressing or whatever, I put them in here for safe keep, safe keeping until I can put them somewhere else. So we're gonna be transferring a lot of these into, um, into the book. So I didn't put dates on any, I wonder if I did on one of them. These are all lilacs from last year. So pretty. And the color, you see the color had changed a little bit from this year's. 
These were from the anniversary bouquet that my husband got me. Right? Isn't that vibrant? And they're so soft. So soft. Um, and then there's some more of those that I have. And this was also in that bouquet. So I don't know what it was. Um, obviously, or if I, I I didn't write down what these things were, but I knew I know what they are. So I should next time I will. These are some more from the smoke tree. So you got to be better about keeping up with things because I'm not that good at it. I don't know what that was. And then here's some more of the flowers petals the, from the roses. Okay, so that's in this little. In this way, they just kind of, they're in a nice, um, there's no closure, unfortunately, but um, I, I keep them flat like this. So these are my mom's. I'll show you those in just a second. And I think these are just full of lavender, more lavender. This one here has just got lavender, all kinds of, and it, look, no dates. Look how, that's how bad I am, no dates. <sighs> If you guys can figure out, oh, it smells so good. If you guys can figure out a really good way for me to ship these pressed dried lavenders um, where they won't get damaged, let me know and maybe I will figure out a way to share that with you guys. Maybe I'll do like a Patreon thing or a um, uh, something. I don't know, or a membership thing or something. I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, sorry, I got sidetracked there for a second. But yeah, maybe if we can, maybe I can share some of my lavender with you guys if I can figure out a good way and a financially feasible way to share with you guys. So, anyways, okay. And again, there's no dates on this. Perfect. These were, these were from flowers. Is it stuck? These are flowers from my yard last year. They were they're like daisy looking and they have yellow and purple, super pretty. And are these the same thing? Yeah, and look at some of them, some of them pressed flat like this and some of them smooshed to the side. I don't know, it's just kind of charming. I wish you guys could smell this lavender. I really do, I really, really do. Is there any laws about, about um, shipping pressed flowers? Anywhere? Is there any laws on that? Anyway, you guys let me know. Oh, and look at, there's some lilac. That was like a little bunch of lilac, like a little bitty bunch. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Oops, okay. So, now let me show you what my mom used to do. Sh Luckily for me, she used to use she used to use old phone books. I'm not even sure they make phone books anymore. Do they make phone books anymore? I don't think they do. <laughs> she used to use old pho phone books and she would put her flower in a piece of paper, fold it in half, put it in the phone book and she didn't even write on the piece of paper. She wrote on the phone book, like what it was. And I'll show you. I'll show you what I mean here in just a second. So, and you're, I don't know if any of you all are familiar with phone books, but see how it says, it says Louisville Business, and then there's some numbers over here. But anyway, she just wrote, this was from 2017, and it's a morning glory, so she just wrote on, so I cut it out of the phone book and stuck it onto the piece of paper. But anyway, it just be happenstance that I happened to notice that there was stuff stuck into this old phone book. So I checked all the, all the other phone books before I tossed them after that, but... Anyway, so she, anyway, she stuck it in used paper. Well, the, some of the flowers are sticking to the paper, but check it out. Isn't that pretty? So that's why I like the wax paper because it doesn't stick to the wax paper like it does to paper paper. So there's one of her, one of the ones I found. And then there's like petunias. She loved petunias. She just looks like she grabbed a bunch and pressed several <laughs> together. And you could tell they're purple. Uh, but again, she wrote it on the phone book and stuck the stuck the uh, paper in there. So I just cut out, there's another petunia. I just cut it, whoops, see it's stuck to the paper. 
and that's okay. I mean, that's totally fine. If it's one, if it's stuck, it's stuck. You could even cut that out and put it in your book if you wanted to. Um, and then there's some more petunias. See, every time I open it up, I'm scared I'm going to rip them. Blue mesh, blue, uh, I can't read that. Blue mesh flower. I have no idea what some of these are, but it looks like my allergies would go berserk. So, this just says compass, and I don't know what that means. Hillbilly tomato. <laughs> I don't know, so they're just random. <laughs> I don't know what a hillbilly tomato is. Ooh, that looks like it's got bugs. Looks like it had bugs all over it and she smooshed it. But it's a hillbilly tomato. Ironweed, I don't know what that is, but it looks like it would hurt my allergies. I don't know what this tiny daisy like. Oh, unknown tiny daisy like. That's cute. And she, she did have a habit of just stopping at the side of the road and grabbing something she thought was pretty. So um, anyway, that was just like a handful. What is this? Oh. Here she just put something in between two pieces of paper. I'm not sure why she did it that way. And then there was another one. But anyway, so I just thought I would share, share that with you guys. Just a few little things that my mom had uh, pressed as well in an old phone book. So you don't need the big heavy encyclopedia. You can use whatever you have. You could use just wax paper and stack books on top of it, depending on what you're, you know, pressing. But, um, yeah, just be sure to um, make sure that it's in between wax paper, I think works best. <laughs> it's just my opinion. I'm sure they make some fancy paper that you can use. I'm sure they make fancy tools that you can use, but my way seems to be working okay. And I'm not a professional, so uh, you know, I, I don't know if it's the right way or the wrong way. If you guys have a better way of doing things, let me know. Uh, just leave me a comment and let me know your thoughts about it all. And in the next video, we will make the little album to put all of our flowers in. And uh, I'm going to do a lot of prep off because it's just going to be one video. Um... But down below, I will have linked um, an Amazon list because I've added some things into this album that you might be interested in. There is also uh, links to the Etsy listing. So yeah, so this was part one of the Pressed Flower um, scrapbook album. Is it? Can it be called a scrapbook album? I think it can. So this was part one. So part two, we'll make the album. So we pressed our flowers and you saw what the results of that. And then we will come back in the next video and make the album. Okay guys, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. Don't forget to share with me your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to be subscribed to my channel and turn on that bell notification so you get notified when I upload a video. And I will see you guys next time.